Ahoy and welcome to this narrowboat adventure. I said in a previous video I would make a full video about Rickmansworth Aquadrome and this is that video so I'm going to show you all the sights and sounds of the Aquadrome and we're just going to have a, a nice relaxing day together so come on. So we'll begin by looking at the actual journey from a boat into Rickmansworth. So just as you come under this bridge on the right hand side that's the car park for Rickmansworth Aquadrome and uh, we parked just a bit further on from there. Uh, there seems to be plenty of mooring here. And if you continue down the towpath just before the lock, there's this little turning. There's a couple of turnings actually that you can explore. And then in the aquadrome itself, there's lots of lakes. This lake is the speed boating lake. So you can see the boat in the background. And these birds, oh my goodness, all of them, the, the coots and the moorhens and the, the geese, they all seem to get on okay. And they all gather here ready to be fed lots of oats and, and seeds and things from passers-by. This duck, I don't know what kind of duck it is. I wondered if somebody might tell me in the comments, but it's one I've never seen before. Very lovely duck. And then we continued our walk. and we found the cafe. So the cafe, we popped in for some lovely food. It's really nice in there and it's actually very large. And behind the cafe, there's another seating area and there's like a area for kids to play with pots and pans and they do really great sandwiches. I recommend the salt beef. And then behind the cafe, there's this nice area where there's spots where you can sit and just watch the world go by. I'm going to leave you to watch the world go by for a bit and I'll come back later. So there's a lot of places you can go and explore within the aquadrome. I felt like having a little paddle, so I decided to put on my swim costume, but it was a bit chilly, so I left my shirt on over the top. And I found this spot with a little bench that I could sit on and watch the world go by. So I don't know whether this would be safe at all times of the year, but as this was just as summer was ending, I think the water level was very low. It only just came up over my knees. So it was a nice tranquil place for me to sit and think.
Thanks so much for watching. I hope you come and visit here too. It's one of the nicest spots that I've been to in terms of mooring. There's this swan, Larry Longneck, if you can see him. He's very friendly and the swans here are really nice actually because they don't uh, peck the ducks when you feed them. Uh, so thank you very much for joining me. If you'd like to join me again, you can click subscribe down below or you can go over to Facebook and search this narrow boat adventure and follow me there. Let me know in the description where are your favorite mooring spots. Take care, bye.